There's only one thing to do. Drop it. Hello, this is Robot Look Sexy, and this is going to be a dynamite any match I had uh, minutes ago. Um, but when I upload this, it will not be like that so much. So, uh, Lead Garbodor is going to be uh, very key in this battle because his Musharna is going to set up Calm Minds. Which, you know, you can hardly blame the guy. He hasn't met my team yet. This is a random person who doesn't know the secrets of Eric the Garbodor. He doesn't know that I'm focus sashed and that I have explosion. And um, even if he uh, predicts that and goes into Bastiodon, that still gives me a free switch, which is it's really funny, but actually giving me a free s switch while breaking is... Well, I would have broke his sturdy anyway. But, uh, yeah. Explosion would have been good either way. Uh, and... Yeah, he's gonna have to show his own explosion with Licky Licky. I, I didn't really know what to do. I was a little tempted to switch into my ghost, but I thought, yeah, I'll scout the set and use Surf. And uh, in the chat, he was like, Karma, and I laughed pretty hard. Um, so I'm gonna make kind of a misplay. Um, I'm just gonna go for the, the damage with the facade, but I should have U turned out. I should have known better than to try to take on a Lapras that was at over half health. Uh, that was a bit foolhardy of me, but, um, uh, things are gonna be okay. Uh, he does have one more Pokemon than I do at the moment, but I have every entry hazard in the game, and he pulled a rest with his sleep talk, which allowed me to, uh, roar out his, uh, Lapras scot-free, or however that expression really goes. Now, he's gonna make a really good prediction, and just go for the Fire Blast on, uh, and Torterra, um, it does a good chunk, it does under half though, which is cool. Um, the temptation to rock polish up was there, but I thought I'd better just get rid of him now with Earthquake. And, uh, so that works out nicely. And, uh, yeah, Mara Wolf the Bastiodon, MVP for life. His Lapras is stuck asleep because I roared it out, and because 5th Gen has really shitty sleep mechanics, you are kind of fucked uh, if you are forced out while you're sleeping because your sleep timer resets, and it's, uh, it's real sticky and messy, and it's great for me, bad for him, of course. Now, uh, his life part is going to sub up while he's badly poisoned, and I honestly couldn't care less. Um... I've got nothing to really touch him, and I know that he is the swag or foul play Thunder Wave, because, you know, what light part isn't? Uh, so I'm just going to switch Pokemon back and forth like a, like a complete asshole. Um, and he's going to die from Life Orb and Poison, which is awesome. Now his Life Press is going to come out, and look at that entry hazard damage. It's so much, and uh, I'm just going to finish him off with a Hex. Critical hit obviously didn't matter. Um... And uh, I need to live the acrobatics on um, barely anything and pull off the curse. And in the chat, he said one thing. One thing. He said rude. Which, uh, I'm not sure if he's being serious or if he's joking or, I don't know, I laughed pretty hard because, I don't know, I've, this, is, this is a good match. This is a good game. This is a gigi. I mean, I've basically won at this point because I laid a curse on his last Pokemon. I mean, Leech Seed is not going to save him, but that, my friends, is a very tight little match. I enjoyed that very much. And this team is not made for making friends. Uh, every enter hazard in the game, plus Ghost Curse, plus Hex, it's meant to poison your team and just whittle you down real quick. Um, so, but uh, this is going to be an RU match I had a couple of days ago. I have a, a bunch of battles, and I honestly can't remember which ones I've uploaded and, wh and which ones I haven't. I'm, I'm very sure I haven't uploaded this one yet, but the one following this one, I'm not really sure about. I'm pretty sure I haven't, because I looked at my uploads, and I haven't uploaded uh, a match of this uh, caliber, or this type, uh, for two weeks. So, it's probably not something I've used. Um, so yeah, this is going to be another uh, a three battle thing. I seem to be uploading uh, three matches in pairs every Pokemon Showdown upload, which is cool. It does make the battles a bit longer, but you know, it's a good solid ten minutes of good gameplay, and I think it's cool. So um, yeah, 
stuff is going on. Samuel L. Jackson is going to get a kill on, on New Queen, which is great. Um, yeah, um, I, I think I saved this match just because I think this is the first time I had uh, tried out Scarfed uh, Rotom, and it was just working out for me really nicely. As you saw there on the first turn, he, it was really weird. Um, um, I totally expected him to go for like Punishment or Stone Edge and be faster than me, but he's Life Orb, so... That's weird. What primate isn't Scarf? I don't know. So, uh, Aggron's gonna come out. I get a special defense strap, so I'm like, eh, why not? Go for another Shadow Ball. Maybe he'll miss Hit Smash. Maybe he'll, you know, maybe he'll use Ice Punch or something. I don't know. But, yeah, Aggron, I love you, man. Even when you're kicking my ass, I love it. I love Hit Smash. It is easily the coolest attack in the entire game. Uh, a bit disappointed in... <laughs> In Neckbeard, uh, in, in my other upload uh, that I uploaded yesterday, I think, uh, Embor got off another sweep, and he just failed me here. Uh, it's it's all that leftovers and that base defense on Agron, but uh, I'm going to sack uh, Samuel L. Jackson, in, uh, and uh, that's going to allow me to get up some very late game entry hazards in the form of one layer of to or Toxic Spikes. Um, which is pretty great because it's going to whittle down his Entei and his Slowbro, and uh, it's just really good um, for stuff. I mean, and there's Stealth Rocks out, so I can actually uh, pretty much take this guy out. Uh, with the Poison Damage and Stealth Rock, I am going to be able to take him out with a Scald, and Extreme Speed is not really going to do anything, and that's pretty awesome. And uh, he's going to go to... So this guy, I think he's going to switch out or something, I don't know. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna go to Kiss from a Rose, cop that grass knot to the face, to the teeth, to the dome, he's gonna take it, does nothing, and I'm just gonna kill the Giga Drain. And this was the match, I actually confused this match with the other RU I uploaded yesterday. This is the guy who does not give me the, um, I don't know, he doesn't let me kill his last Pokemon and he just runs, which is fine. I mean, I'll take that over Rage Quitting. I've, I've been having a lot of people who just close their tab, like they just click it away and then the battle is gone. Uh, but anyway, this is, a this is the match I was talking about. I don't believe I uploaded this yet. I believe I've meant to upload this. But anyway, uh, this guy is your life. Um, I don't know if that's the name he wants to go by, but he is a Skype Pokemon friend, and uh, we were just shitting around, having some uh, Pokemon Showdown battles. Uh, he wanted to UU, and uh, he 5 owed me. He completely trashed me, and then I was like, ugh, I, I, need, I need to redeem myself. I need a rematch. Uh, so um, I whipped out my health team, and I'm like, eh, you know, maybe I can lose with more dignity or maybe even pull out a win, but... Uh, yeah, so that's going to be this match, and uh, as you're seeing, uh, Snover is not going down. <laughs> Snover is going to get kills. He's going to get kills, and it makes me giddy like a schoolchild. I I don't I don't get it. I mean, I could use a bomb of snow, but Eevee Light Snover is probably better. I mean, as as sick and ridiculous as that is. And I'm going to talk about sick and ridiculous things. I'm going to pull off the double protect only as a 50-50 chance of happening, and I'm going to pull that out of my boot, of my bootox. And uh, I know he's not going to want to outrage. Uh, he's going to U-turn, so I'm going to be able to leech seed whatever wants to come in on that U-turn, and my protect is refreshed, so I can just protect stall with hail and leech seed again. And his Heracross is almost, almost at half health. So yeah, I'm pretty much stalling out his entire team with a Snowvert. I don't know. I don't know about you, but that makes me pretty excited. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can you can uh, call me some names in the comment if you want to. Uh, it's much deserved. Now he doesn't have a ghost, so I can rapid spin, which is great because spin to win, you spin to win. Uh, now this this um, this Suicune, uh, I fought him in the first battle. He, he is probably what crushed my team the most. He's got a Hidden Power Electric, Life Orbed, it must be Max Speed and Special Attack Suicune with Calm Mind. I mean, it sounds goofy, but it works, and you don't see it coming, because you think that they're going to be like uh, Calm Mind Rest, and you, you just think they're going to be more defensively oriented when wham bam, you're going to hit them with super damage, and, um, you know, you don't have time to fix it because it's already too late because you've been damaged a lot already. Now, um, I thought he had Hidden Power Fighting, which explains why I switched into Zatu like that. And that's when I realized, oh, 
He must have HP Electric. I asked him in the chat if he had HP Electric, and he does indeed have HP Electric, so... Uh, that kind of sucks. Satu is pretty much foddered again. Uh, he's either a super integral, important part of the replay match, or he just gets foddered. Um, but, you know, he's there to soften the, uh, the, uh, fighting attacks and to, um, make people think twice about using Stealth Rocks. Even if I never use Satu, people are afraid to use Stealth Rocks just because he's there, so that is pretty useful because this team does not like hazards. Obviously, so yeah, I got bananas. The Walrin, because his tusks look like bananas. And that is the explanation for that nickname. Um, he, uh, I thought he would go for the Thunder Wave, and I was right. I'm just gonna block it with the sub. And um, yeah, I could sit here all day, because I can I can take two seismic tosses before my uh, well, I can take one seismic toss. Uh, and keep my sub. So basically, with protect, sub, stalling, and surf, I can like 10 hit KO Registeel, but I don't really want to do that because it's really lame and boring and kind of mean spirited. Like, if this guy wasn't my friend, and if it was just some random guy, I might actually do it, but I'm like, no, that's lame. So I'm gonna switch into Ice King. He is the king of ice. And um, I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast, which is enough to take out Flygon. Because of that Sheer Force Life Orb, it is so beautiful. Um, I pretty much resist uh, the stabs of Heracross, and my HP is high enough that um, I can actually take a hit, so that's cool. So I'm going to fire off Blizzard, get rid of Heracross, and his last Pokemon is Registeel, and uh, at that near half health damage, I can take him out with an Earth Power, and those... Whew! Those are going to be my three matches, YouTube. If you enjoyed them, please leave a like rating and a comment, because I like to read comments and stuff. So, yeah, see you later, YouTube.